Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. We've got the Unicorn Dodge truck and we've got the Ventrac with the Tough Cut mower on it. And we're over on a neighbor's farm, a neighbor's piece of property. We're gonna show you this place. It's overgrown with brush. It's probably been uh, five or six years, something like that since this land's been cut. And we're gonna take the Ventrac Tough Cut and we're gonna put it to the test today. So. This field is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, three acres, maybe two acres, right in here. And you can see the brush. We'll get you some cool drone footage and we're just going to put the vent track to work. Tomorrow's video is going to be cleaning up their pond dam. So just through the woods down here is a pond and on the back side of the dam, they've got a ton of pine trees. So we're going to get to work on those and <laughs> the cows are already curious. So this. This farm is leased out to a farmer and these folks live in Charlotte, North Carolina and they need their land cleared up and basically they found the YouTube channel, reached out to me, found out I was local and I said sure, we'll go over and try it out. Try out the Ventrac. So come along today as we clean up some land with the Ventrac. Alright? I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you can mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do with any job like this is we're going to lubricate the machine. This is our McNaught. Uh, grease gun and this has an awesome little quick attach right here and we've got four lubrication points on the front we've got two lubrication points here we'll check the oil and make sure everything's good to go on the tractor before we get started Those grease fittings are always in the toughest spot to get to. <laughs> there we go. Okay, everything's all lubed up. We're going to unload. In case you guys are wondering, it is 87 degrees out here with a heat index of close to 100 degrees. It is super duper hot. So I'm going to be completely drenched with sweat by the end of the day. This is the last time you're going to see me clean. All right, this is the mess. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. So it goes clear back to this tree line right here. Hopefully we can get everything with the Ventrac. We're gonna leave probably a few select trees in here, a few trees that might be pretty or desirable, like there's a little uh, oak tree back there. But for all intensive purposes, we're gonna take this disaster, this briar covered mess, and we're gonna get busy to it. We're gonna cut way back in here to the fence line, and you can see there's a deer blind up there in that tree. So this is gonna be their hunting area. We wanna make sure it's nice and clear so they can do some good hunting back here. We're gonna toss the drone up. Guys, if you haven't been to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel before, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to keep you here and show you all the stuff we're doing. We're off our farm today, but this is what our front yard used to look like, and it's beautiful now. So let's get busy.
All right, guys, I think you can see what this Ventrac can do. It's just unbelievable. There's some trees in here that are probably like big as my forearm that it just won't cut. But what it does is once it cuts the tree down, one of the blades is spinning a different direction than the other blade. So it draws that material in and basically chops all the limbs off the brush. We've still got a long ways to go here. And I'm realizing some of the limitations of the Ventrac tractor, but we're gonna get back in here. We're gonna get some drone footage for you. And uh, man, I'm impressed, really impressed. Again, I do not work for Ventrac tractors. This is me on my machine getting some work done. And you can see it went from brush like that to clear, just like that. Let's toss the drone up and get some cool footage.
I told you I'd be dirty, man. <laughs> I'm not that dirty. I'm just soaking wet. We had a huge downpour come while I was right in the middle of uh, mowing out here. And some of this stuff was just too much for the tough cut. And we're talking about trees that are like this big, as big as your arm. But guys, what a difference. If you look out through here, I don't know if you remember what this looked like before. I'll try to get you a little image of what it looked like before. And now look at what it looks like now. It, it really just turned this field around. I've got some more toys and tools that we're gonna be bringing out here tomorrow. So we've got a uh, brush hog for the front of the skid steer and we're gonna work on that. The pond is over here. I don't know that I even want to get the Ventrac out on the pond because most of the stuff is about that big and the Ventrac is broke. I'll show you what happened. One of the pulleys, I guess it just hit something just, I got into stuff that's too big. I think it's rated for two inch, um, which is that big and I'm cutting stuff that big. So I knew I was going to break something today. <laughs> it's not a good day if you don't break something. Got poured down on by the rain but man look at that what a vast improvement that little ventrac it just kicks butt um, there's still a little bit of stubble left up and you can still see some brush so the landowner will have to come in here and pile up some of the brush but what we're probably going to try to bring out here over the next three days is a brush hog for the front of skiddy bop and we've got a dan user tree puller slash cutter so it will grab onto a tree and pull it up and that's perfect for these little pine trees out here so awesome let's go over here to the vent track and i'll show you what i broke i knew i was overdoing it and uh <laughs> when you overdo it well that's what you want you want your youtuber you want your guy on youtube to test the equipment in a heavy heavy duty situation and this was heavy heavy duty let me show you what broke it was just a pulley on the tough cut there is a guard right here and you can see all the brush on the top of the tough cut we'll raise this guard up and the pulley that i lost was the central pulley right there you see it flopping that is what drives the uh the blades underneath there and what happened was I sucked in a piece of brush about that big and what it does two blades spin one way one blade spins the other way and it just draws that brush in and mulches it up well it was a little bit too big and it got hung up in there and that's what did that so got to make a quick call to Ventrac order me some parts that's just part of doing this part of farming guys i want to thank you a whole lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm today off the farm getting some work done tune in to the next video you're going to see some more fun here we're going to get in here with the skitty bop and get the brush cutter cut as much brush as we can and then we're going to address this pond down all right thanks a lot guys we'll see you next time on the stony ridge Woo! we'll come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your